I'm Randy and I make candy and tonight I'm making Han Solo crackle bars. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. Star Wars Day is fast approaching and I thought it'd be appropriate to celebrate by making a Han Solo in Carbonite chocolate bar. And since I'd recently had a Hershey's Crackle Bar, I figured I'd toss some Rice Krispies in there as well. For those of you unfamiliar with Star Wars Day, it's celebrated on the 4th of May, as in May the 4th be with you. Yeah, it's candy corn levels of corny, but if you've been a compadre for a while, you know there's a special place in my heart for candy corn. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own Han Solo Crackle Bars, or just plain old Crackle Bars as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For this recipe, you'll need some chocolate and some Rice Krispies. How much, you ask? Well, depends on the size of your mold. For the mold I'm using, I'm going to use 160 grams of chocolate and 16 grams of Rice Krispies. The important thing is that 16 to 1 ratio. Figure out how much chocolate you need, divided by 16, and whether you're measuring in grams, ounces, or talents, that's the amount of Rice Krispies you'll need. You'll also need a bowl, a spoon or a spatula, and a mold. Okay, let's make some candy. Temper the chocolate and add a thin layer to the mold cavities. This is to keep Han's face from looking all bumpy and distorted from the cereal. Let the chocolate set. If it's properly tempered, that should only take about 10 minutes. Add the cereal to the chocolate and mix it thoroughly, making sure that the cereal is completely coated. Return the bowl to the microwave for about five seconds. The cereal is gonna cool the chocolate by a few degrees and make it difficult to work with, so we need to bring it back up to temperature. Took me a couple of tries to figure that part out. Add the chocolate mixture to the mold, trying to keep it level with the top of the cavities. Leave it on the counter to set, and that's it. Okay, let's give it a try. Slanchi va. Yeah, it tastes just like a Hershey's Crackle or a Nestle Crunch Bar. I love it. I know. Don't get cocky. If you're looking to celebrate Star Wars Day with a super easy treat, you really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the candy kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. If you're looking for... Mm.